Hello and welcome to Politics Today. My name is Moino Balagbubo, and of course, uh, digging it up with me this morning on the show is... Emmanuel Abia, as always. And uh, good to have you on the show today. We've got quite a show for you as we will be looking into calls for the restructuring of the judiciary system in Nigeria. And of course, this has been filled by a viral video of uh, Senator Bukachua you know, who was trending due to his comments at the ninth uh, National Assembly validatory session, uh, that which was last weekend. Uh, and of course, we're not alone today to talk about this issue. We've got with us right here in the studio a legal expert, uh, Principal Solicitor, Barrister Mike Umwana. Good morning to you, sir, and thanks for being with us. Thank you very much, Mona, for calling me. Also joining us... Uh, from Abuja, uh, of course, is the executive director of Electoral College and a former FCT senatorial candidate, uh, Honorable Kunle Lawal. He will be joining us via Zoom this morning. Good to have you on the show. All right, uh, let's quickly take a look at the video of uh, Senator Bo Kuchua, you know, his confession during the, the ninth uh, Senate National Assembly uh, valedictory. So take a look. We'll be right back and we'll talk with our guests. My wife, whose freedom and independence I encroached upon while she was in office. And she has been very tolerant and accepted my encroachment and extended her help to my colleagues. Uh, the song is Please, I don't think this is a good idea going this direction. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Please. So once again, I'd like to make a welcome uh, Barrister Mike Umunan to the program. Thank you so much for uh, on the show. I know you've seen the video. Thank you. I would love for you to just quickly react, looking at the state of ju judiciary. What does this say about your profession? Are you embarrassed at all? Well, I must confess that I'm not embarrassed because uh, it is what we have known all this while that uh, God is actually bringing these people to uh, bring, confess to the world that this is what has been going on in the judiciary. And it's an unfortunate situation because even God himself says that uh, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. It is this knowledge that is going to trigger the call for restructuring of the judiciary, not even only the judiciary, the entire nation. Because when we discover that if you go to court, which is a concept now, they say go to court, because they feel when you go to court, they have the machinery to influence whatever is going to be the outcome of the decision from the court. And, and, and the, 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 the common man, which who is the, actually the one that is the, the, the one that is actually influenced and is going to be affected by the decision of the court will feel that since he cannot get justice from the judiciary, the only next thing that he has to do is to take laws into his hands. And what you have in that situation is crisis, is chaos, is instability in the system. And so it is very important for us to take what uh, Senator Bukachuwa has said seriously so that we start to put into place the machinery to restructure the judiciary. It is very important. This is the fact that we have independence of the judiciary, but we have checks and balances that will make one to inculcate or to permit or to move into the other aspect of the arm of government to ensure that it is doing the right thing. And so that is why we need, we in the, in the, in the, the stakeholders in the, in the judiciary, we, we, we have put so many things in place to ensure that this kind of thing is nipped in the bud. For instance, like today now, we are in the Keja NBA, we are having a, a, a conversation, a seminar that we are talking on the word go to court go to court, what is the imperative, what is the implication of the word go to court 
on the ailing judicial system in Nigeria. That is what we are discussing this morning. And in fact, the program is supposed to start by nine. And so once I finish here, I'm going straight to that point, to that place. We okay. are putting together a, a legal juggernaut to discuss issues and see how we can change the perspective. We can change the, uh, av the view of an average Nigerian on the, 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 what is happening on the judiciary. So that w once you have a client who comes to you, you will be because ordinarily every average lawyer knows the moment you bring any pro challenge or problem to his table, he will immediately tell you, okay, this is the way I feel this is supposed to go. But in the present context of the Nigerian judiciary, it becomes very difficult for somebody, for a lawyer who knows the law, to tell a client, okay, I definitely know this is the way this matter is going, because of this kind of uh, uh, antics that go on in in the system. And somebody who knows a, a big man will just uh, reach out to him and tell him, this is the way I want my judgment to go. And then before you know it, the judgment goes that way. That is the potent danger to this nation. And we have to put our hands together and come together to see that we ensure that this does not continue. What I am saying is that this distrust did not start yesterday. It has been there since because we discovered from the pronouncement or even the Supreme Court in some uh, judgment that came out, you discover that uh, the people are dissatisfied. They just see that there's injustice meted out to people over there and over time. And so that is why this revelation or this confession, so to say, is necessary for us to start something immediately. You see, in same societies, they would have immediately arrested this man and the wife and then asked them to tell us. They review all the judgments that Honorable Justice uh, Bukachuka. There's another video that shows uh, um, um, Senator uh, this, uh, uh, Richard so, uh, Korocha, Korocha, yes. who, who, who now was Asking just the, 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 the Senate how President. How did you come here? We, yes. Two of us contested the presidential mm. and uh, we came back. Rogers is going out. We, uh, I'm, 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 I'm not coming back to the Senate. And you uh, tell me the secret. All this just to, sh to show that there's something going on in the judiciary because we know how the man came back. So these are the issues. These are the issues that we, the stakeholders in the judiciary, are trying to address to ensure that the average Nigerian will have confidence in the outcome of any judgment that comes from the judiciary. As it is now, we have the election petition and all the justices that are sitting in that, or the panel members, they know what is going on. Yes. The whole world is beaming his own uh, eyes on the judiciary to see, to see and to hear what will come out of that uh, uh, judiciary. So, uh, that, that tribunal. And so they know Everybody knows, all of us live in the same society, including the justices, so they know what is going on. And I want to believe that they are going to do the right thing this time around, because if they don't do the right thing, this country can explode. There will be serious consequences of not doing the right thing at the tribunal. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow right here on Politics Today. Thanks for watching. Yeah!